Look out. When I get to the bottom, I go back to the top of the track. And I stop and I turn and I go for the ride. So today, can't tell behind me, but uh, that way is the infamous abandoned village from one of my earlier haunted travel videos. I had been doing some uh, map scouting, and I've come to find that there is actually a uh, another more abandoned village up this closed road, which is why I'm walking down the middle of it. There's no risk of something running over me. Uh, it's going to be a long walk, but I'm going to journey out there and see if we can find it and see what we find inside. And hopefully everything goes all right, because this is going to be a little bit of a, a far remote one. But uh, I'm excited, so let's go. Well, we haven't reached the village yet, but Boy, have we found something interesting. Check this out. That is a grade A abandoned house if I've ever seen one. And yeah, we're definitely going in there. Yes, we have no doubt got another victim of Tox Island here from the looks of it. That is the same construction of the houses that you would find back in the abandoned village. So it's from around the same time frame. That 60s, 70s era type of construction. It's got to be a little careful going into these places. You never know what you can find inside. Well, let's go in. See all that shoe track there. I may not be allowed in here. Extremely spongy. And the entrance to the basement here. Get to that. Check out this room. All right. Let's open 
This goes all right. too far in this one before it collapsed over there. Let's see what else we got. Upstairs. Very cool. Stairs now. Go check out the basement. It's pretty dark, but not much to see. Center hole. Awesome. Well, there's the basement. So it would seem that in the back here, got some sort of shed or out there. Let's see if we can reach it. There we go. It's an old barn, I'm guessing. How cool is that? Let's get a look at what's inside. Seem like it's gonna hold me. Yeah, just enough to get in here and take a peek. Very cool. Actually, I have a tiny old doghouse right inside the opening here. I definitely don't think. That floor is going to support me, so I will uh, admire that from out here. Yeah, awesome. This is a good ex unexpected find. Came out here searching for a second abandoned village, but uh, yeah. We got this awesome house and house along with it. Good stuff. Well, with that, let's carry on. So we've now traveled a few more miles up the road. Had that great abandoned house that we went through checked out. It's pretty cool and uh 
think I may have found another gem right here up ahead. I don't know entirely if it's abandoned or not, but I mean, this road is completely closed down, so I can't imagine that there's anybody living here right now. Let's find out. That. Got what looks like another barn out there. According to my map, I'm getting very close to what I was looking for when I came out here. Let's see, yeah, look at that. Looks like it's partially burned down. Well, you already know we gotta go in there. I guess we'll check out this outbuilding first. Uh, it's mostly collapsed from the looks of it. Looking at the property here, I don't... I don't know how abandoned this may be, because the grass seems to be uh, pretty well maintained and short. But... As you can see, this place is clearly... Uh, caught on fire at some point and collapsed on itself looks like we might have had a uh, some sort of livestock barn here maybe perhaps a chicken coop hard to tell this one's in pretty rough condition on my way over to here, though, I had uh, photographed the buildings first before I started the video, and just checking this out. I think the state may use this other building as uh, storage of some sort, perhaps. So there's, uh, eh, it's pretty clean inside for the most part. Still a really neat old building. Obviously, they've uh, painted it sometime recently as well. I see some old construction signs laying about on the floor here. Very neat. I didn't know what I was expecting to find when I came out there, but uh, this has definitely turned out to be uh, better than I expected. Right, first that abandoned house, then now these two abandoned barns. And if I'm not mistaken, I think out in the distance, I can see the second abandoned village that I came out here to find. Let's see if I'm right. Sure enough, here it is. I can pretty much see it from those barns over there where we were just at. At least I think this is what we're looking for. Either way, we're checking it out. Well, this first building is sealed up pretty tight. Uh, and apparently, it is under uh, video surveillance. So we will not be going in there. Making that clear, not just for this video, but for any other cameras that might be taking video right now. I'll still look around... Uh, 
the outside here though. This is uh, pretty cool. I'm guessing it's another uh, area that was evacuated for the Tox Island project. An old house. It's a very, very cool house. Would uh, love to explore the inside. boarded up pretty tight don't think we'll be doing that so we'll move on to the next building so this one has no uh, do not enter signs and is wide open so I guess we will go inside and check her out Another old barn of some sort here. It's pretty cool. Let's see what we got on the other side. Hmm. I've got two bottles. area and you got the weeds growing up through the floor oh let's see what we got upstairs To me, we got another empty barn. Whole oh, lot of feces, insulation, perhaps. Oh, well, that's not unsettling at all. Right next to the opening. I'm sure whoever put that there intended for it to have some sort of creep value. So, hey, good job, whoever you were. Well, I feel like there's a lot more to this place than what I'm seeing here. Another little outbuilding over here. Let's see what we got inside. Shed with a pallet floor. Of digging it. The abandoned village, you know, the initial one is what it is, and it has its vibes about it, but only on certain days. You know, it has a uh, otherwise just very average, very peaceful feel to it. This place. I don't know. It feels different to me. I get more of the vibe of when uh, something weird is going to happen at the first abandoned village from this area. But, like I said, I think we've got more to this place than just these two buildings. I think there's a trail back that way. So, I know. Head up to that and see what we can find back there. But if I'm not mistaken, I see some 
larger buildings looming off in the distance back there. We got an old uh, cooking area here. That's pretty cool. Obviously been a very long time since it's been in use since uh, got a whole tree growing out of it. Yeah, let's move on. Let's see what else we got. Yep, I was right. Off in the distance there, I can see one more huge outbuilding. Uh, might even be a mansion, was probably the main residence of this place. And to kind of blend with the other content I make, I see the first signs of uh, herp life for the year over here. As I was approaching, this is very clear, clean water. Tons and tons of frogs singing the first uh, songs of the year out here. So, good to see. Hopefully that means I'll be uh, uploading some more herping videos soon. But, in the meantime, let's go see what that's about. Wow. This is way more massive than I expected it to be. And it's still in pretty good condition. I bet this is going to be another uh, locked up and boarded up situation. Oh. I think we've got a grave. We do. Oh my goodness. We have a small cemetery here. I did not expect that. Could contribute to why we don't feel very alone. We have some of the uh, original residents of this here town. Hmm. Ground seems to be a bit uh, sunken in here. Would not have uh, expected this. Clearly not uh, entirely abandoned, abandoned as caretakers. Again, we have uh, maintain. I mean, that flag's got to be pretty recent. Check out the rest of the property here. Let's see what we got. So I can see the signs on the front door already. The one that's boarded up. We're definitely not going to be able to enter that one. They have got it closed up and uh, allegedly under video surveillance. So I don't see any cameras anywhere. Could just be a scare tactic, but. Not worth the risk. Although really, we're so far out here right now. Down a closed gated road. It's going to take anybody quite a while to reach me. Irregardless, I'll be respectful. Stay outside of the buildings that are... Uh, not open or welcome to intrusion.
I didn't know what to expect today, but I'm very, uh, very pleased. I'm sure it's a whole different world when it's warmer out. See if we can see into the basement. Not too well, it would seem. It's worth a try, though. Chicken coop, perhaps. Yeah, staying all the fabric is basically food from that chair. Papers in there. How they have uh, not completely been decayed is beyond me. I wonder if they can see a, a date on anything. Oh. <laughs> mystery fluid in a jar back there. Some mystery object in it. Pretty interesting. Not seeing anything that would uh, give away any sort of date as to how old that stuff in there is. Man. I mentioned a little while ago in those lower parts of this place, I had, uh, I feel like I'm not alone, even though I'm very alone. Very much so, got that feeling coming from the direction of that house. Wonder if we're about to have something happen here. Anyway, let's move on. Check out the rest of this place. That really big one over there is really calling to me. Here, we'll save that best one for last. And now let's see what this one's got to offer. This one's not boarded up, clearly not as well uh, protected, so we can just walk right in and see what we got here. is another one that's uh, on its way to collapse. As an upstairs, but I don't think I'll be trying that out. Seems that we've had some visitors in here as Thank you. 
just realizing how all this is uh, propped up on decayed children's furniture. I'd like to go up top, but I'm pretty sure I'll go through the floor if I do. So I'll just set up for out here. Awesome building. to the next so this one perhaps was some sort of uh, living quarters maybe it's very uh, unstable almost no floor left so must be going inside the doorway I'm actually surprised this uh, tiny building even had a basement. Sure enough, it's still standing. some noises out that way. Hopefully we are still alone out here. Tell you what, going back in time, I think I would have liked to have uh, been a part of the family that lives on this property. Very uh, nice place they have here, even in its ramshackle state at the moment. Look at this, we got more old magazines, more newspapers. Again, I'm just so, uh, oh, here we go. Our first sign of, uh, how old we're looking at here, 1975. So this does indeed line up with the, uh, about the time this place would have been abandoned for the Tox Island project. Such a shame. Saving it. Best for last. Just this big, other big, big barn. Before we go out there and check that out, though. I heard running water back when I was checking out the house and realized they had a whole really nice private pond back here.
just got my wild life inside it. Clear the evidence of beaver activity. Let's see what we got here. Man, gotta love a little surprise herping. Just uh, before I went up to the barn there and helping us to see this water is just teeming with eastern spotted newts. And this was just one, one little swipe into the water there. And I got these guys right on the shore. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of these guys down there in the water. Although a little alarming, they seem to have little growths coming out of them. Hopefully there's not something uh, bad about this water that they're living in. Hey, there's my first herps of the year. Some eastern spotted newts. All right. Let's check this out. ceilings Looks pretty spacious in here how about that another noose yeah we'll just say that people are weird Try to make sure we're not getting into anything bad here. I could imagine somebody just hanging out in here. Really unsteady floor. Looks like we got some lumber. Let's see what we got away. I'm on the way on the other side. bridge a lot of workshops Do believe now that that is everything on this farm. We 
I'll continue to uh, stick around a little bit though. All in all, <laughs> quite an interesting find. You'd be amazed at what happens when you just skim through Google Maps and zoom in on things. Leads to discoveries. Places like this. By the way, unless I find something else interesting here to show you, thanks for coming on this journey with me. Hope you had fun.